Hello, welcome. Let us gather here together from near and far, remembering the stories of Jesus, the one who was born as a little baby in a stable and who grew up and went to the temple with his parents to learn from the elders around him, and as an adult who had so much to teach the world, especially about God's love. So here is our candle here today, and we light this candle to remember and give thanks for Jesus and his love and how his light guides the path we walk each and every day. Thanks be to God. This is the story of the woman at the well. The story begins as Jesus and his disciples were traveling from Jerusalem to the, in the south to Galilee in the north. To make their journey shorter, they take the quickest route through Samaria. Tired and thirsty, Jesus sat by Jacob's well while his disciples went to the village of Sychar, roughly half a mile away to buy food. It was about noon, the hottest part of the day, and the sun was shining brightly down. And a Samaritan woman came to the well at this most inconvenient time to draw water. During this encounter with the woman at the well, Jesus broke three Jewish customs. First, he spoke to her despite the fact that she was a woman. Second, she was a Samaritan woman, and the Jews traditionally did not like the Samaritans. For centuries, Jews and Samaritans had rejected each other. And third, he asked her to get him a glass of water, although using her cup or jar would have made him unclean. Jesus's behavior shocked the woman at the well. But as if that wasn't enough, he told the woman he could give her living water as a gift from God so that she would never thirst again. Jesus used the words living water to refer to internal, eternal life, the gift that would satisfy all of her soul's desires. The living water was available only through him. And at first, the Samaritan woman did not fully understand Jesus' meaning. Although they had never met before, Jesus revealed that he knew she'd had five husbands. Jesus revealed himself as God. She and Jesus discussed their views on worship, and the woman voiced her belief that the Messiah was coming. Jesus answered, I who speak to you am he. And the woman began to gasp at this reality of her encounter with Jesus as the disciples returned they too were shocked to find him speaking to a woman. Leaving behind her water jar, the woman returned to town, inviting the people to come and see a man who told me all that I ever did. Excited by what the woman told them, the Samaritans came and begged Jesus to stay with them. Jesus stayed for two days, teaching the Samaritan people about the kingdom of God. When he left, the people told the woman, We have heard for ourselves, and we know that indeed he is the savior of our world. It's craft time. And for craft time, you'll need a couple of items. Today, what we're building is we're building a dipper that you can dip into. Um, it's a well dipper, but we won't have wells, obviously. But we have little bowls or something. So you'll need two bowls, one with half filled with water and one empty. And then you'll need a cup, a disposable cup, either a paper or plastic cup. And you'll need pipe cleaners or string. Or you'll need a hole punch or a pencil. And then the last secret item is you'll need a nickel or a quarter, but I'll tell you more about that in a minute. And for some, the nickel and quarter, you'll need either glue or tape. 
So we have a cup, pipe cleaners or string, a hole punch or a pencil, and a glue or tape, and a nickel or quarter. So I'll let you gather those items and I'll meet you over at the craft table. Welcome to the craft table. As I said before, our craft today is a well dipper so that we can dip water out of our wells. Now, we don't really have wells, but we can dip it out of a bowl. And so, as I said, I have two bowls here. As I said in our, our craft supplies, I have one that's half full of water and one that doesn't have any water. The next thing we'll need is a cup. Now there is a variety of different cups that you can use. You can use a plastic cup. I have a big one and a little one here. You can use a styrofoam cup if you have it. The problem with styrofoam cups is they're not really recyclable that well. Uh, so I, I, you know, if you only have that, that's fine. But if you have something else like you can reuse or that can be recycled, uh, that's always better. And I have two paper cups. Now paper cups are good too, but you could only use a paper cup a couple times uh, before they start to get soggy. And so I'm not going to use the paper cup today. So our two options are this papery cup, which has a coating on it to keep it from getting all soggy, and the little tiny cup. I'm going to use the little tiny cup because I like a challenge in putting my water over into the next bowl or using this to water plants. And so I'm going to take on this challenge. It's a little medicine cup, and if you've had any um, medicine that you drink, you might have some of these at home as well, and they can work out pretty well. The other thing you'll need is pipe cleaners, or string will work as well. But pipe cleaners work a little better because they're a little firmer, and so they are able to you know, be dipped a bit better. You'll need a hole punch, and if you don't have a hole punch, if you're using a paper cup especially, you can use something like a pencil to put a hole in it, and so I'll show you how that works. You just pop the hole in there and you go through with the pencil and then there you have your hole. And so you can put the pipe cleaner through that way. Uh, but because I'm using the little plastic one, I'm going to have to use the hole punch and you'll need the secret weapon. Now you'll need the nickel. If you have a nickel or a quarter at home, you'll need one of those as well for the secret weapon and I'll show you that in a second. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a hole, well two holes, one on each side, in our little plastic cup and see how easy that was? There's no problem. There we go. And so now we have a hole on each side and so we're able to then put our pipe cleaner through. Now you can use a short pipe cleaner or long pipe cleaners, it doesn't really matter. If you use a short one, you can put them together just by twisting and see how easy they go together and then you have a longer one. But I have one that's about the right size and I'm going to use this green one. And so the first thing we're going to do is go around one side and it's important to go from inside to out because you want your end to come on the outside. And then we just wrap that around, make it nice and tight for our handle. And then we push the second side through, see how I went from inside to out again. And I'm bringing this up then to make the second part of my handle. And I just tie that off. So you see my handle's pretty good and so it's firm and that's the good thing about using a pipe cleaner is you have a nice firm handle to hold the water bucket with. Now here's where our secret weapon comes in. Now you can, I always use a nickel but you can also use a quarter. A dime really doesn't have enough weight. And ideally what you would do is you would glue it, but I don't have enough, I don't have any glue at, home at, uh, at our craft table today. And so I'm going to use just a bit of tape to hold it in place. And you want to do that on the outside of the cup, just on the bottom. Now glue is better because you, then it won't get soggy. When the tape gets soggy, the nickel is going to fall off, but it'll last for a little while for me. And so we're all ready to go. So the nickel is important because the extra weight helps us dip our bucket. And when we dip our bucket, we can then transfer the water to another bowl. Now you can have um, races with your friends or your brother or sister this way and see who can empty their bowl the fastest without spilling all the water. The one who spills the least, who fills their other bucket up, wins the race. Or you can use this to water plants. If you have some plants at home, you could use it to water a couple of your plants as well. Maybe you have a plant in your bedroom or something. And so there's our craft, our little water bucket craft. 
Thanks for joining me at the craft table today. I hope you have fun doing this craft. Oh.